la 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 When my three daughters were in grade school, I was the one in charge of making lunches every day. Three sandwiches, three pieces of fruit, three chips, three napkins, three desserts, every day, three. Three makes them laugh in Caseyville, Illinois. Three. They scoff, they sneer, they mock. Three. Ha! Here in Caseyville, they make sandwiches. And three is barely a number here. They make 200,000 sandwiches every day. That's a million sandwiches a week. A million. A million. How? Don't expect gangs of little old ladies at kitchen counters with jars of Miracle Whip brandishing knives like characters from West Side Story. This place is one colossal kitchen counter, the Dagwood Sandwich of sandwich making. Do your jaws drop when you think about 200,000 sandwiches a day? Well, I'm looking forward to 400,000, so... Uh... <laughs> Joseph Trover Jr. is the CEO of Landshire Sandwiches, the big cheese. And speaking of cheese, let's talk numbers. It takes a lot of big numbers to make a million sandwiches. People are, wow, you make 200,000 sandwiches a day. And then people miss 200,000 a week, 200,000 a month. Like, no, we make that every, every day, eight hour shift, nine hour shift, we'll make 200,000 sandwiches. You know you've seen Landshire sandwiches. You've probably eaten one, maybe a large number of them. They're in thousands and thousands of convenience stores all over the country, 60 different times. Forget brown bags. This is Sandwich Central, where sliced bread is the greatest thing since, well, since fresh baked buns. 150,000 buns baked here every day. Look at this. It's like graduation parade day at Paris Island. No, it's neat. It's, it's, when everything works well, it's very fascinating, so it's, it's awesome. When it comes to actually making sandwiches, it's a combination of moving machines and lightning fast human hands. The sheer numbers are astounding. Even more astounding is that there are enough people to eat all those sandwiches. When the sandwiches are done and packed up, they go into a gigantic freezer. It'll hold, when it's maxed out, just under 4 million sandwiches. The average sandwich weighs about six uh, third of a pound. So you're looking at 1.3 million pounds, and a ton is... 2,000 pounds. 2, pounds. Oh, don't, that's enough math. That's okay. enough. <laughs> well, no. Here's some more math. Pretty impressive math for a St. Louis thing. We went from a regional company in 2000, and now we're, you know, I would say in most vending machines around the country that have a cold food vending machine, I would say we have 20% of the product inside there. You can probably find our products in 15 to 20% of the convenience stores throughout the nation. Regionally here, you'll probably find it in 50%. The plant stops at lunchtime. Hey, the place is built around lunchtime. Even in the cafeteria, there are numbers. And look at what's for lunch. Chicken and tamales and frozen dinners and yesterday's fish. <laughs> you don't want to look at another sandwich? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, I love that sandwich, okay. but now I'll bring my own lunch. Okay, good for you. The sandwiches are available for free, and they do get eaten in one form or another. What, what are you eating for lunch? A big daddy. A big daddy? Yeah. So it doesn't look like the big daddy. Yeah, I just took some white bread, mayo, ketchup, and I made my own sandwich. You don't expect to see them making that on the line any day, anytime soon, I hope you? so. <laughs> <laughs> All of this is a family business. Joseph Trover Sr. bought it in the 60s. This family is the Earl of Sandwich around here. Very good meeting. Thanks, guys. It's all about sandwiches. I've never been in a business meeting where they discussed large quantities of mayonnaise. <laughs> I assume that on Thanksgiving and Christmas... It's just sandwiches? Yeah. Is that, is that a correct assumption or not? Uh, we, we often do. I know uh, growing up in particular, we'd go on vacation, and the big thing was loading the sandwiches in the back of the truck. Well, what so, you guys wanted to do was stop at KFC and McDonald's, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter how you add the numbers, no matter how you slice it, when you make three sandwiches every day, three is a lot, but 200,000 is more. Even I get that kind of math. And cheese, that's no baloney. Turkey. For HEC TV, I'm Aaron Mermelstein. We love sandwiches, I don't say that. <laughs>